Hey guys, what's up? Professor Demetrius here with Professor Mark. And we're going to be showing you guys today two arm locks that we can do from the mount position when we start things off with an Americana attack. So let's begin. Professor Mark's going to lie down here. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys basically one simple one and one that I use a little less often, but they're both in the same ballpark. So for starters, Professor's going to be crossing his arms, maybe protecting a cross choke attempt, something like that. Now, whichever arm is on top of the two is going to be an easier arm to peel off. So that's what I want to go for. In this case, his right arm is on top of his left arm. I'm going to use two hands. One's going to be placed right on the wrist. One's going to be placed right on the elbow. Notice the grips, monkey grips, right? So I'm going to go one, two. I don't want to bring my chest down and start to push with my hands. I want to lock my elbows out and use my body weight to fall on top, okay? So once I do that, I'm going to bring his arm all the way to the floor, keeping my weight on top. But I'm definitely giving him some space here. I haven't done the rest of the move, which means I haven't dropped my elbow and continued forward from here. Now he's going to use this space to go get his arm and basically save it. Okay, when that happens, I'm going to have to modify my mount. So let's turn a little bit here, Professor. So once he's here and he's saving his arm, this back leg is going to come up high into the armpit and I'm going to give him a pillow with my right knee. Okay, right here. Now what do I do? I'm going to scoop with my bottom hand inside his arm and I'm going to grab my gi lapel. All right. My top hand has two choices. Choice number one, I'm going to press right under his jawline. It's not a very nice looking thing to do, but don't worry. Your partner is not made of glass. They'll be fine. So the idea is to take this push here. Option number two is I shave his face and I press towards the mat. If I do this, he's stuck looking at the floor. He can't even think about taking his left arm out. Can you move professor? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So that obviously means no. The idea is to have the pillow connected to his head and then the other side connected to my forearm. Now from here, guys, I want to start to spin my leg around and get to the seated position. So from here, boom, sit right down. Now from this position here, I'm going to find a way to release. In this case, not going to be a difficult thing. Maybe place your foot inside, come back, catch the arm. Okay, one more time. So from right here, Cross choke sets it up, boom, boom, boom. I take the easy hand, two against one, lock the elbows, drop the weight. He goes and saves. As he saves, modify your mount. Scoop. If you scoop too deep, you're not going to have a very easy time to step your right leg over now because you're pulling your head down. So don't go too deep. Just hold the collar like this. Now, as soon as I let this go, chances are he's going to protect both hands, which is fine. I'll deal with that after. But I let this go and I work on one of the two variations. From here, I lean my weight onto my opponent. That way I can step around, sit down, and then eventually start to work the release into the finish. So that's number one. Number two, very similar, except we're not going to attack his opposite arm. We're going to attack the one that we originally went for the Americana on, right? So same thing here. Cross choke attempt sets up this X block, two against one. I start to pressure down. As I get to about here, it's a race. He's trying to catch his hand. I'm trying to catch my wrist. We're both fighting for it. But look, it's pretty even right now because he's got two arms and I got two arms. So what I want to do is I want to sort of let him win, but here's how I do that. I bring my left knee up a little bit. Now, as he pulls to the center, I go past the center and I give myself the same kind of modified mount or S mount on the opposite side. Let's turn. So once Professor's here, I'm going to be seated like this, okay? Now from this position, I'm going to step over the head. If you feel the need to, you can always pull this arm or kind of staple these arms to his chest so he doesn't do any kind of block over his head as I go around. And now look. Sit, connect, heel inside, boom, release and finish one more time. Let's do a little bit of an angle change. I think on this one we've got to see both sides, guys. So from here, he's got the X block. Two against one. Boom, a little bit of a race now. Knee goes up. I'm making him think I really want the Americana, but as he pulls back, change sides. Little block here. Step. Start to release. Push this away. Catch and finish the technique. Okay? So this is one of our most common mount attacks to set up. You start with one Americana. You work your way into the straight arm lock. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. Leave us a like on the video and also a comment and let us know what you like the most. All right, everybody. Hope you're well. We'll see you on the next one.